Hi and welcome to a guided tour of the Staylink Demo Software installation. The Staylink Demo Software is designed to give our partners a fully functional demo environment that they can use to demonstrate the capabilities and, and the feature set of the Staylink software. Uh, the demo software itself is available through the Staylink portal site. Uh, the web address for that is www.stay-linked.com slash portal and uh, when you reach that website it prompts you for a user ID and password. If you don't have a user ID and password for the portal you can request one by emailing support at stay-linked.com. Uh, once you download the software itself uh, it will probably come in a zip file and uh, if you extract that zip file you're left with a setup here and if you run that setup uh, again this demonstration setup comes with a number of different components and the very first window that you get is a request to take all of the default values on all of the setup dialogues and uh, again this is partly for for uh, simplicity sake the demo software setup in the package is pre-configured for the demo environment so all of the uh, necessary configurations of all the different components are already included so by taking the default values again it just simplifies the installation so if we select OK and again, click Next and Yes. Again, each of these components will request that you uh, accept a end-user license agreement and, and all of that. But I'm going to kind of blitz through that to just sort of illustrate how quickly this demo setup happens. So again, this demo environment is designed uh, to be run in one of two ways. It can either be run fully locally on either a PC or laptop, or you can hook up a wireless access point to a PC or laptop and run it off a wireless handheld or vehicle mount or something like that. So with that we'll go ahead and select next and the first part to install is the Staylink server for Windows and again we'll just say next yes taking all the defaults again and you'll see the installation happens very quickly and one of the prompts that we'll get is a request to run this as a Windows service uh, we do run as a Windows service in the background um, so we'll say yes and then it says would you like to start the service now we'll say yes to that as well Okay, and the the service is configured to run automatically when the uh, when the system starts up. And uh, this is just a note saying where you can control the service. So we had a successful installation there. Now comes the Staylink administrator, and again this comes pre-configured uh, to uh, be the administrator for your local Windows machine. And again, this setup is also very quick. that's it. Next piece is the Pragma Telnet server. And this is exciting now that we're including this piece of software thanks to our partners at Pragma. Uh, again because this is a production level Telnet server and a vast improvement over the Telnet server we used to include. So you can see in there it already came pre-keyed um, and this particular Telnet server has uh, a number of uh, very nice features but uh, um, this is actually a certified Telnet server to work with the Staylink software itself. So we'll finish that. This is creating the Staylink user account and now we have the Staylink Windows client. Uh, the Staylink Windows client is the only component that requires a restart uh, and it does prompt you for some information uh, about the client, some of the client settings. Again, this is already pre-configured for our demo environment so we'll just take uh, yes, next, okay, all of those uh, values. Uh, this is requesting whether we want to install the device management component. We'll cover that in a later video but just say next Now it says I have to reboot now. I'm going to say no, but you will want to say yes because that's the default value. Um, but for the purposes of this video, I'll say no. That is it. That is the complete Staylink demo software installation.
So now that the Stalink demo environment is completely installed here, the, the final piece of the puzzle here is to get the Stalink server licensed uh, so that you can start connecting devices to the server. Um, and we can do that by running the Stalink administrator. So if we come down here, run the Stalink administrator. The very first screen that pulls up is a, a description of all the different servers that you can manage. In our demo environment here, we can obviously only manage the one because that's all that's added to the administrator. Um, but in the description, you'll notice a serial number. Um, this serial number is uh, what we'll use to cut the key. The, the license for Stalink is concurrent user based. So uh, we don't actually license the handheld software component or the client software component. Uh, we license the number of seats on the server that are going to be used. So what we can do is take this serial number here and uh, if you send that serial number into support at stay-link.com uh, and request a license for that serial number, we'll send you back a license which you can then install by again running the Stalink administrator and logging into your server. The default user ID is administrator all in lowercase and the default password is ESP Echo Sam Papa. And that allowed us into the server so if we come down here to server licenses and double click on that It'll pull up a blank window. If you right click in that window, one of the options is to add. And when you add a license, it prompts you for a couple of values. How many permanent and temporary licenses uh, the key is cut for. And that information can be got out of the email uh, that we send you containing the license key. So you enter those two values and you input the license itself and then you hit validate and when you hit validate the temporary client expiration date and the server serial number values will automatically fill in. Once those fill in you hit install license key at which point the administrator will log you out and your Stalink server is licensed. So that is uh, that is the complete demo setup and installation um, and uh, licensing of the Stalink server itself. So uh, again, if you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to get in touch with us by calling the Stalink General Tech Support number at 714-918-7817. Or again, you can email support at stay-link.com for any assistance.